Hello and welcome to Wednesday editions, additions to my uh, collection. It's Wednesday. That's a mouthful and never, none of it came out correctly, but I'm going to keep it in there. Let's go. So today is just going to be autographs I did with Mike O and a few other friends at a hobby. Uh, thanks, Mike, for getting these for us. Uh, I know other people have seen it's been a while to get autos. I didn't feel like this one took that long. I'm just like, I kind of forgot it was out, and that's kind of the way I do things with PSA anyway. I mean, I have an order now, another order at October of 2022. So waiting to get that back uh, from a group submission. I still don't understand what's going on with that. And, uh, you know, and I have a couple more. Uh, <laughs> Everybody else seems to be getting the stuff back pretty quickly. But I got these autos back pretty quickly. Uh, so let's let's take a look at them. I'm just going to do them this way. They're just autos. Uh, I'm going to see how it works out today. Uh, not a lot. I think there's only nine here. And nothing to uh, go screaming. I can't believe what he's got. These first two... Uh, I got from a friend, Wade. Thank you very much, Wade. He's friends with him. Uh, this Tommy Green, he's from the Virginia, I believe, Richmond area. Uh, and I collect people from Virginia. So I got Tommy Green. So that's the 91 highlights. Don Ross card there. Beautiful card. And just a regular 91 Don Ross. Oh, excuse me. 90. To Don Ross, know what, know what you're talking about. You got a channel for heaven's sake. For heaven's sake, Tommy Green auto and beautiful auto asphalt, Mr. Tommy Green. Uh, I had a chance to meet him and I, I still might take weight up on that one day. Uh, now these are some John Crux. I've told a story, I believe, before. Uh, he married my uncle's wife would which would be my aunt by marriage into her family somehow. And uh, I wrote a letter to him. And so what is this? That that one was with the uh, 90, 92 Fleer. Uh, so it was probably before then, right? Or after that. Wrote him a letter, a nice letter. He sent me a nice letter back. Um, I want to say it was around his departure from Lee. I can't remember. I lost the letter in all my moves. I feel sick about that. Uh, but he signed a bunch of cards for me. Um, and I think he's a good TTMer to this day. I didn't know it was TTMing. I just wrote him a letter, you know, saying, hey, we have very uh, likable, uh, very liked styles we, we play the game very uh similarly uh <laughs> body styles all that stuff so uh so he did that for me this one was uh these are some ebay ones that i bought uh very cheap i don't think any of these are like five dollars but when i see mets players from especially the 80s i like to pick them up bill allman uh, 81 Fleer. Uh, I think this is 91 Bowman. Like trying to look the back in the dark. Tommy Her. And that's funny. So Mike also had a Tommy Her in the Phillies and he put it in my sack and he said, Man, I really like this card. I was like, I guess it is. It's your card. He caught it before he sent it to me, but. I had a time he heard in the Mets uniform, and he had him in the Phillies uniform. Uh, Walt Terrell, which actually had pretty good seasons in the early uh, to mid-80s with the Mets. Uh, Walt Terrell. And then, of course, Frank Viola, who had a great career. I have him in, like, a pack pulled with the Twins. Um, I believe in one of those uh, veteran 
pulls where you just get one card. Uh, so I bought this Mets. And every once in a while, I just go on eBay looking for Mets in-person cards, cheap ones. I kind of uh, Mike Moynihan's philosophy on that is like who's faking $5 autos. You know, you should – I mean, they're probably out there, but, you know, uh, I feel comfortable buying those now. Some some higher ones, they're going to have to have COAs for me. Uh, uh, real ones, not from the person that, that did it. You, be careful with that because – the, the people will get a bunch of hat, like uh, Kevin Mitchell. I got a couple of Kevin Mitchells. Uh, again, wasn't too worried. Not a huge name in the hobby. Uh, he does have some collectors out there. <clears throat> and it's a perfect minute to just talk about um, some autograph stuff, you know, how I go about it. So um, Kevin Mitchell's uh, uh, card shop, Patty Man, looked like in – san francisco area and did their own coas with pictures of him autographing uh anybody can take a picture you can get a picture off the internet of him autographing not a big deal uh but the card wasn't that pricey and i've i've shown them in previous ones uh, i'm trying to think have i bought any you know when i buy my gary carter tt or uh in person autos, I always buy those already authenticated or graded because uh, that's what I've been hunting for here lately. They're just a little overpriced here. Um, and of course, I've talked about where I'm really cutting back. I have only bought a handful, literally. I have not bought anything from eBay or anything from for so far this month. Uh, I think I've only bought a couple of tops.coms and a couple of cards from Mike. Uh, and that's about it. But when I, when I online cheaper ones, I mean, when I say cheap, like five, $10, um, you know, or in guys really like, you know, Tommy her things like that for Mets, eighties cards, really tough to think somebody is, faking those and it could be i mean it could be and then you're gonna ask me okay then why are you getting them authenticated i just wanted all my autos authenticated easier to store yes i'm paying up a little bit for them uh to get them uh, authenticated but i just like to have my autos just easier to store they're not all over the place with that and the weird thing is is i don't get every i don't do graded hardly at all for some reason i like my wrestling and star wars cards that are graded uh that are autoed graded uh and my baseball ones i just put in a, and my, my sports ones i actually put in just a one touch because uh for me i'm buying the, the auto anyway i'm not really buying the card uh but that's my thought and, and that, that's just how i go about things because i know with everything uh, you know, questions in, in the community here lately. And I was like, well, I got this stack to show off. Nothing huge, self-explanatory. The crux I got through the mail and I knew they were from him. Um, so, and he even talked to my aunt uh, about me. Uh, so we were supposed to connect in Baltimore for a series and he, he retired. Uh before that so never never did get to, to meet him um but anyway uh i digress back to autos that's all i have for this week uh i'll have some uh sgc returns uh, in the next one um until then well tomorrow i'll have uh this being the 9 13 so whenever you watch this on 9 14 i'll have a uh nerdy thursday can't wait to talk to you about that little soca little pickups and we'll get to it so until then like share tell a friend subscribe if you haven't um and uh let, let me know down below you know how you purchase in-person autos ttms if you do it all uh just interesting to know those and know that information and how do you uh store them or or do you get them authenticated when you do through the mail or uh 
are in person. So until next time, see ya.